the coming of the white uh, settlers into Kenya and uh, by extension Africa I think was uh, driven by by their, 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 their need for the raw materials. Sivili Moelemi, 58, was describing the history of British colonization in East Africa more than a hundred years ago. Moelemi, he was a locomotive driver who had worked at Kenya Railways for over three decades. The railway was built by the British colonists in East Africa between 1896 and 1901 to tighten control over the British East Africa the British government decided to lay a rail to control the entire Nile River Basin originating from Lake Victoria. It was initially named the Uganda Railway after its destination. The construction of Kenya Railways, actually, it was not Kenya, Kenya Railways. Kenya Railways only came later, after several decades. You see, the people who are engaged in the construction of the line were, were not the locals, actually. The real builders were the Indian coolies and along the way well uh, it also met a, a lot of challenges from the locals. Locals with their uh, tribal chiefs or chiefdoms or whatever uh, formed the resistance for the, for the white people when they came to occupy. In the eyes of the local tribes the railway was an iron snake a nation tribal prophecy said an iron snake would someday cross their land and would be a bad omen, creating trouble as it went. With the construction of the railway, the British invaded from the coast into the interior of East Africa. The local tribes were subjected to savage looting, killing and the colonial enslavement thereafter.